Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Torrance and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about reliable makeup products in my collection. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any future videos. And also, don't be afraid to go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. I got today's idea by a video I saw by Kelly Gooch, and I'll make sure I leave that video linked right here above. And although you can tell by watching my YouTube channel that I'm a very big fan of makeup, in my personal life, I'm also a very huge fan of the TV show Golden Girls. And even though I no longer own or watch television, I still have the DVD set. There are days that I spend with family and friends where I may take those DVDs with me just to make sure I can watch one of my favorite television shows from the past. And the very first phrase of the theme song is, thank you for being a friend. And while watching the Kelly Gooch video, that theme song started playing and the idea of just reliable makeup products and thank you for being a friend just clicked in my head like torrents. There's nothing in this life more reliable than a friend. and. There's nothing like getting into your makeup routine and realizing there are certain products you can always rely on. Whether I'm having a good skin day or a bad day, whether I'm trying out something brand new or an old favorite, I know for sure if I add these products to my routine, we're gonna have a good makeup day. So in today's video, I wanna show you five different brands that I know I can go to for specific products and they'll never let me down. So if you wanna know what those products are by those five particular brands, continue to watch. First brand on the list, a brand I can always count on, NARS. NARS holds a very special place in my heart. One, because of the absolutely beautiful shade range, and two, because of how many friends I've had that worked at the NARS counter. No matter the season, no matter what my skin is going through, I know they have a product that'll work for me. And I have three different foundations here, as well as three different concealers that I wanna show you. And all of these are absolutely stunning. It just depends on what type of coverage you're going for. But for those light coverage days, I love this combo here. This foundation is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Looks like this. I wear the shade Medium Dark 2, and I usually pick that up for all foundations and concealers just to make sure I have everything in my skin tone here. Also have just the plain concealer here. This comes in a stick form. This is probably one of the most underrated products from the brand. It doesn't offer a whole lot of coverage, but knowing that they offer it in your skin tone, I love this on a no makeup makeup day. Go ahead, just swipe that underneath the eyes to conceal dark circles, and I'm out the door. The second set that I have here is usually the set that I wear on most days. It offers medium to full buildable coverage, and that is their Sheer Glow Foundation, their most popular foundation as well as the Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is their most popular concealer. This is probably, no, there, there isn't any popular. This is the most used and most purchased concealer that I've ever had in my life. I love this concealer so much, I bought it in every shade for my freelance kit. So this combo right here has seen me through more days than any other combo in my entire makeup wearing life. But before I knew anything about the Sheer Glow Foundation, me and my oily skin fell in love with the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This one here. You want full coverage? You want matte? She does not play. Full coverage matte. And although they say it's All Day Luminous Weightless, All Day, yes. Luminous, maybe if you have extremely oily skin. Weightless, Yes, but this is a full coverage matte foundation and I absolutely love it. And its counterpart, the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This plus that All Day Luminous Weightless, I mean, you can cover acne scars, tattoos. If it's hyperpigmentation you're worried about, these two will get it going for you. That is not the combo you want. If you are a sheer, natural, luminous girl, stay away from those because those is going to come with too much power for you. Next up, after we've got base down, you gotta have quality brushes. And anytime I want a good brush that I know is not gonna fail me as far as quality, as far as blending, as far as handle weight, gotta give it up to Sigma. I love Sigma brushes. And it took me so long to get on the bandwagon because for years, I was not a fan of purchasing online. If I couldn't go in store and get it, I didn't want it. And the very first time I tried out this brush, which is the one I use almost on a daily basis, is the Sigma F82, the round kabuki brush. 
I love Kabuki brushes to apply foundation. I believe the F80 is their best selling brush because it's flat top. I prefer rounder tops here like this because it's sort of like a beauty blender to me. I can take it and I can just press it straight in. I can also go in and swipe it straight down and get full coverage. So I absolutely love this for my full coverage days. On the days where I want a really light coverage, I go in with the Sigma F80 airbrush here. This is a dual fiber brush. And to me, I like it because it is flat top, so it'll give me a full coverage look if I wanted that. But because it is a stipple brush, it'll go ahead and it'll deliver a lighter product with those white hairs here, dropping down the product and then pushing it in and using the black hairs to buff it out. Absolutely fabulous. Only thing I can recommend is personally, I don't like using this brush for full coverage foundations just because I find it's a little difficult to wash them out. But with lightweight to medium coverage foundations, she's beautiful. Another face brush that I love is the P82 Precision Round Brush. I love this brush for spot concealing. It's like an itty bitty kabuki brush here, round top, just like my F82. She is absolutely stunning. This brush, like I said, spot concealing, go in, got it. Blending out your eye primer, got it. I love this brush and I really need to get a backup because even though they've said absolutely nothing about discontinuing this brush, it's so good. I'm scared it's going to be sold out because once a person tries it, I'm quite sure they'll want a backup of this bad baby. And the next three brushes I want to show you by Sigma are eye brushes. First, we have the tapered blending brush, the E40. We have the blending brush, E25. and the eye shading brush, the E55. I purchased these three brushes because I had no idea how the Sigma eye brushes would work. I'm someone who personally prefers natural hair brushes in my everyday life, but on clients, I just could not afford to do that. So they came out with a holiday set that came with these miniature brushes. And I figured with three miniature brushes for the price of one large brush, I was willing to give it a try. And after trying this little set here, there was no doubt in my mind. Although the handles were miniature, the brush heads themselves were full size, and this set was so beautiful, I ended up buying like four or five of them because I knew it would be cheaper to get these first, and then when I could afford them, I can go and get the full size brushes. And to this day, these are still holding up, so there's been no need to even replace these just yet. And since we were just talking about eye brushes, the next category is gonna be eyeshadows. And the brand I can always rely on for a wonderful eyeshadow palette is going to be Melt Cosmetics. Melt Cosmetics makes a wonderful eyeshadow formula. And this category was sort of hard to pick because usually I go to a brand for one formula or the other. My absolute favorite matte shadows, Viseart. My favorite shimmers, Pat McGrath. My favorite single eyeshadows, Colored Rain. So what I wanted to do was try to think, okay, Torrance, which company comes out with a palette where it satisfies everything, your matte, your shimmers, and your taste preferences and colors? When I put it like that, easily became Melt Cosmetics. And three of their permanent palettes that I absolutely love, my favorite from them, the Gemini. You can't go wrong with the Gemini palette, honey. You can't go wrong with the Gemini palette, honey. I love green eyeshadows. Green are my favorite. So to give me a palette where it's half green, half neutrals, and there's only one shimmer on each half, and being someone who prefers matte shadows over shimmers, the fact that this palette only has two shimmers and eight mattes, it truly captured my heart instantly. My favorite accent palette to this is the Smoke Sessions palette. And as you can see, this is also gonna be a green theme palette. And this palette is just the opposite. Instead of having predominantly mattes, this is mostly shimmers with one matte shade on each side. But once again, you have a palette full of greens here. Even those neutral tones have a slight green hue to them. So it's the perfect companion palette to the Gemini palette for me. Another favorite from Melt Cosmetics is the Radioactive palette just because I'm a huge fan of colors. And as you can see, Melt Cosmetics does not play with the colors. 
Please ignore my purple shades because I accidentally dropped the palette. The next three palettes from Melt Cosmetics I want to show you are limited edition, so I don't believe they can be purchased any longer. The first one is the Vita palette. I still haven't used it, although it's colorful, it is more of a neutral than the other one. As well as the companion palette to the Vita, which is the Morete. And these two combine together here to create this. Absolutely stunning. I still haven't used these palettes yet, but I already know the quality of Melt Cosmetics and no one that I have seen has given these a bad review yet. This is the Vita. This is the Morte. And I think you can still possibly get this palette here. Well, this isn't necessarily a palette, this is a stack. This is their blueprint stack that came in the limited edition blue packaging. I believe they still sell it in the black one on Sephora as well as Melt Cosmetics, but it could be discontinued already. And this has four split pan colors here. This is the first one. The second two with that darker shade being matte. This is the third color in the stack. And the fourth one, once again, with that darker color being matte. The next category for me is going to be highlighters. And when it comes to highlighters, there is nobody in the game quite like MAC Cosmetics. I know MAC is an OG. I know many people consider them to be boring. But for me, they are where it's at when it comes to highlighters, especially that extra dimension skin finish formula. She's absolutely beautiful. And I have three permanent as well as three limited edition shades that I want to show you. The first highlighter I want to show you is a permanent shade called Soft Frost. And it's a dual chrome with a blue purple hue to it. Which is absolutely stunning. The next highlighter is called Show Gold. And once again, this is a dual chrome. But this is more of a peach to gold or a pink to gold. I love this shade, especially as an inner corner and brow bone highlight. Of course, the most used highlighter on my channel, Oh Darling. I love this shade so much, I repurchase it every year, even though I never run out. It is just the most beautiful blinding highlight in my collection right now. I absolutely adore it. Three highlighters that I love from MAC that they no longer sell. The first being a dual chrome called Snow Flushed. And this one here, I absolutely love as an eyeshadow. I know they call this a highlighter, but with this color across the eyes, it drives me crazy every single time. And I truly wish they would just make this in a smaller pan as a permanent item. The next one I never got the chance to use on my channel because it literally sold out the day that it was launched. And because it was meant to be a limited edition item with only 1,000 of them being made, I have my box here and it says I get number 686. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Precious. This was from the MAC Underground Collection. And as you can see, the look of that is absolutely stunning. I have no idea when and where I'm going to wear this, but the color and the formula is what drew me in. And... I'm a sucker for limited edition items, so I had to grab it, but I really wish they could make this in, let's say, the same color, even if it's not the same packaging or something or a higher price. I really wish they could have made more of these so that I could have used it on my channel before it sold out, but that's the nature of limited edition. And my favorite, favorite, favorite extra dimension skin finish as far as packaging and looks go. This was the item to get, baby, the year it came out. And this is in the shade My Mimi. And look at her. Tell me Mariah did not do her thing, baby. Look at that. And as you can tell, I have used it over the years, but I've tried my hardest to only keep it over here on the hair side so I don't mess up the design here. I doubt if you can see it, but they even engraved her mold and the lashes on here. Like, are you kidding me? Mariah knew to show out. And the last category of things I wanted to choose for was lip gloss. And for me, this was probably the absolute hardest one to go with. But ultimately, 
The winner ended up being Fenty Beauty. Was it a shocker for you all? Come on now. The thing is, if you were to check my description box and go through and see which lip products I've worn the absolute most, Fenty Glow by Rihanna. It's my most used, my most purchased lip gloss. The thing is, Pat McGrath's Bronze Temptation, she right up there with her. That lip gloss is so hydrating, so beautiful, and so twice the price. So when I look at how fabulous this gloss is, how it's half the price and three times the product, how big this doe foot wand is. Let me see. I got another one already open. I'm going to open it in that one. Yeah, see, look, here's a Fenty Glue. One open, one not. But look how big this doe foot is, honey. When you got those big old DSLs like I do, honey, this is a huge wand. I need to be able to go swipe across. I'm not a big fan of having to go in and dip 15, 16 times to get my full lip. Mm -mm. This bad baby will get you covered in one dip. I don't care how big your lips is. But I have this here in all 10 shades that have been released. And I love this formula so much that I have these five here that are open. And I have another set that's in backup. I've never opened those because I was afraid that she may not release these shades as full size. And I wasn't about to risk running out of any of these shades, so I had to get me another set. The first one we have here is a color called Cheeky. This one is called Pretty Please. This shade is called Fussy. This shade is Hot Chocolate. And Confetti. The last five are all full size and four of the five are permanent. The first full size is called Diamond Milk. Next full size is my favorite, Fenty Glow. This one is called Sweet Mouth. Their clear gloss has the prettiest name of them all to me. It's called Glass Slipper. And although this is a full size tube, I believe this one has been discontinued. It was only available in a limited edition set. And this one is called Trophy Wife. When I sit down and just look at all of these items here in front of me, I promise you it only brings good times and good memories. I can actually sit back and think of different looks that I want to create right now. I know for sure if I go to NARS for my complexion, my color is going to be right. If I go to Sigma for brushes, things are going to blend and buff out correctly. Fenty Beauty is going to keep the lips popping, honey. Lips are my absolute favorite part of the body. We already know how beautiful Rihanna's lips are with her cupid's bow. I just think, ah, she is just so beautiful. And Rihanna is just so sexy to me. Oh my God. I love her. Highlighters. I use MAC highlighters all the time. I use MAC highlighters all the time. So I absolutely love them. I have a collection of them that I unfortunately see only getting larger with time. And as far as Melt Cosmetics, I love the fact that they give us colors with a little neutral on the side. It is so many brands out here, which I understand do neutrals because they are the most popular. But for someone like me, I like my bold, I like my colors. And every now and then, I like to give myself a little neutral look. So to know that that brand does both, because if you want just strictly neutrals, they have you covered. Check out their rust palette and you will not be disappointed. But I hope you all truly enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know which brands do you feel as if are truly reliable and if you have any of these products on that list because I know how good they are for me and how often I recommend them to other people. But many times it's just nice to know what other people in the world are using because someone may have a holy grail product that they use on a daily basis 
that I've never even heard of and I'm all about improving my skill and my knowledge. So any tips and tricks that I have, I would like to share with you all. And with nothing else, remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until next time, bye YouTube.